and all kinds of participants. Assalamu alaikum. I have come here to present a very important topic of HSC first paper. And I hope uh, you will enjoy watching this slide and get numerous ideas about that. First of all, I would like to welcome you to my presentation, virtual lecture presentation. I'm Azharul Hawk, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Kumila Vitra Government College. Today, my topic is flowchart. Actually, I have given another presentation on flowchart, but uh, this one is a bit revised and updated for you. So very important for you to follow me. Uh, total 10 marks actually, uh, very important, and HSC first paper is included. Uh, it is not only to write how to flowchart, rather it will help you to uh, give you some idea about how to uh, make uh, phrases or the chunk of sentences. All these are very important for you because uh, if you do not know actually how to make phrases and how to make sentences, uh, it will be very um, it, will, it will not be, be a very good idea to uh, continue with the flowchart. So for this reason, uh, this uh, lecture is very important for you. Let's start then, uh, dear guys. Let us have a look at the information first uh, that should be included inside the box of the flowchart. Uh, the information that you must put inside the box of the flowchart will have to follow certain rules, grammatical rules, of course. Let's take a look at them one by one. First one is in, it should be written in short notes. That is, uh, it will have to be the keywords, phrases, of course, not clauses. And it must be written without to be verb or auxiliary verbs. Keywords should be chosen, or it can be made into noun phrase, adjective phrase, verb phrase, or adverbial phrases. That is uh, the information that you must include to the box will have to follow certain rules uh, that I have just shown in this slide. Let's go to the next slide then. Uh, flowchart is really very tricky and very much uh, a little bit uh, strategical uh, you must follow the strategy to make the short notes so this is these are the structures of the short notes that you will make the structure of the short notes are like this you will have to make it with verb plus ing plus extension uh, this is one option or you can use it with being plus extension or you can use having plus extension or you can use subject verb verb plus ing plus extension which can make it a noun phrase, or you can use noun plus adjective plus information or noun, uh, you can make an adjective phrase. So remember, uh, uh, there are four strategies or four structures I have already shown in this uh, slide. So you have to use the structures accordingly. And of course, it depends upon the context and grammatical chart or grammatical structure of the extracts that you will be following. Let's go to the next slide. See, uh, these are the important notes that you must bear it in your mind. First one is subject of the flowcharts usually follow after showing or mentioning in the question. That is, uh, when you will uh, start writing the flowchart, you do not need to read the whole question. If you just follow the question from showing or in mentioning part uh, to the last part of the question, then you can get the idea of what you are going to write or what you, what you are supposed to write. So don't need to read the whole question. Uh, just follow questions from showing or mentioning part. Then uh, auxiliary verb, model auxiliary or adverbs should not be used or will not be used in the flowchart information. Answer should be inside the rectangular boxes and maximum three words preferable. It can be more than three words if it is uh, related, but uh, maximum three words is very much preferable. That is, it can be one word or it can be two word or it can be three words. It can be two words or it can be three words uh, or it can be four words. Uh, if there are more than three words, you can use hyphen or you can condense the sentence so that it can become three words. But one word is also, also acceptable. Two words are also acceptable. Two words are, of course, acceptable. Uh, if it is more than three words, then you can use hyphen or make it a simple and understandable keyword so that the, all the information should be connected logically and hierarchically. That must be born in your mind. Let's go to the next slide, actually. specimen extract that I have collected for you. Uh, read the following text and make a flowchart. These are the questions. This is a question that is a specimen question that will be given to you at your examination. Uh, uh, first one is done for you. That is first flowchart will have to be, will be given 
uh, it will be done but the next five box will be uh, done by you so this can be an extract it of course it will not be a big extract only a little portion or chunk of the text will be taken so look at the text my name is Amerigo I am 13 years old and lived on the street alone my mother who is separated from my father doesn't want me she told me to go away now she is married to another man my father lives very far away I want to go to him but he won't take me either I begged him to send him some money send me some money so that I could buy a bus ticket I'm still waiting he hasn't answered look I in the second para of this extract I have underlined the important important information so dear students I want you to I suggest you strongly to uh, before writing the flowchart you must underline the impo important information like this for example the first important information I have underlined I used to collect trash and sell it to a vendor then uh, I had a serious infection I worked for an ice cream shop the owner of the shop gave me something to eat and uh, I had to work for hours offering my ice cream so these are the important information that I have already underlined uh, that can be uh, used later on that is when you will go to make flowchart information or keywords you must uh, reconsider the underlined phrases or sentences and from this sentence you can make your own phrases that's very important for you the slide so these are the diagrams that will look like uh, as you can give in your examination these are the diagrams or the boxes uh, that you will use it is actually presented here in horizontal horizontally uh, you can e even use it um, you know vertically both of them are accepted and allowed for you so look at that the living in the street first box is um, specially given uh, normally first idea of the box is specially given so do not but remember when you write the flowchart you will have to write the six boxes uh, one after another logically and chronologically and then it will become a good flowchart so first box living on street remember and you must be very cautious that first box i have started with capital letter only this one will be uh, uh, written in capital letter but the other boxes when you write the information you must use the small letter and remember don't use any full stop let's see what's next next, um, next slide this is the uh, these are the sentences uh, which i have already underlined and um, and from these sentences I can make the phrases uh, almost same slide so I'm going to read them first sentence I used to collect trash and sell it to a vendor so the phrase would be collecting trash and selling to a vendor look I have used collect plus ing collecting trash and selling it to a vendor that, that has become a phrase understandable and logically acceptable phrase second one is sentence second sentence is I had a serious infection so the sentence would be having a serious infection uh, then the third sentence I work for an ice cream shop the sentence will be working for an ice cream shop next sentence is I had to work for hours offering my ice cream the sentence would be working for hours offering an ice cream the next sentence is the owner of the shop gave me something to eat so the phrase would be the owner of the shop giving him something to eat or given something to eat by the shop owner so these are the phrases uh, when you make phrases at the back of your mind you must remember that you are going to make it into a phrase not a clause Clause is subject plus finite verb that is not acceptable for flowchart information. So what you have to do is to make it into a small, logically understandable phrase so that it can make a meaningful, compact grammatical sense. That's it. So look at that. These are the same. This, this is the same slide. I have made the phrases uh, from the sentences. Five phrases. Now look at this. This is uh, the uh, answer. I mean, these are the boxes that you will decorate or that will manage in the exam script uh, look at that the boxes are uh, vertically presented you can if you like you can present it horizontally no problem will there be so first one collecting trash and selling it to a vendor number two having a serious infection number three working for an ice cream shop number four working for hours offering ice cream and number five giving him something to eat so you can see dear students uh, that uh, five boxes are made uh, very horizontally um, vertically sorry and of course with meaningful compact and eye-catchy information so that it can be very much informative it doesn't actually bear any unnecessary information you must be very careful that the information that you are going to put in the box will have to be very relevant to the text 
you must make a phrase but that should be relevant to the text or the extract so these are the five uh, boxes i haven't actually used one box that is already given in the exam but remember when you write the answer you also write that box which is also given on the uh, question so in that case you, there will be six boxes for you and uh, look at that uh, i have used arrow directions you must use the arrow directions and remember the boxes will have to be very much rectangular and well shaped and well uh, circulated that is uh, it doesn't actually uh, sh uh, shouldn't uh, cross the rectangular shapes so these are the five boxes i have used uh, and this is the way you can make your flowchart acceptable and understandable for you. Uh, you know, specimen I have tried to present in my video lecture. I hope uh, you have got idea. Uh, but my suggestion to you is that you would uh, practice it better. Boom. At least uh, two or three a day uh, would be nice for you. And remember that uh, flowcharts are really very important in the sense that it will help you to build up phrases uh, in your mind. So it's very important for you. Uh, so all the best from me and uh, my uh, email ID and my blog's ID has been given. If you would like to uh, write me, you can write me to my email, mazda.hawk at gmail.com. And my blog ID is also given, hawkeye.blogspot.com. My blog ID is uh, replete with a lot of information, notes, and uh, variable, valuable uh, notes for you. You can check it uh, for your better understanding. And it's all for me. Thank you very much.